Hello and welcome to this edition of Big Scott 35 Cards, where tonight I'll be showing off two, that's right, two PSA returns. Let's take a look and see what I got. Hello and welcome back to Big Sky 35. Uh, like I said, I got two PSA returns. One I sent straight in myself. I uh, had a couple of oversized cards. Went ahead and sent them in myself. And the other one is with uh, a group I do at my LCS. And all I can say about that return is I got a return. Grades are not great. Um, some of them I knew were not going to be great. Uh, and... Uh, most of it's PC, so we'll sit, take a look at it. First is going to be a couple of the cards, oversize. Now these were uh, received on 6-3. I sent them in maybe a week before that. So they were received and processed in a week after sending them in. And I got them back uh, on 8-6. I would have got them back on 8-5, but I was not home, or I wasn't awake when the UPS man supposedly knocked on my door. So, uh, that one got a 5, and these are for my Gary Carter. You can see Gary Carter top there. It's a scratch off. I can stop talking and start talking about the cards. That's what we're here for, right? And uh, Gary Carter, Dave Collins, and Phil Gardner. Scratch offs. This is one of those cards that I was talking about, man. It's been great. I uh, never seen these before. I don't even know how you acquired them in 81. Uh, when these were out, I was only 10. So my, probably not even but 9. So who knows how you got those. Uh, I actually got two other versions of that one. But only that one is in the registry. Go figure. And the other one is the 5 by 7 uh, photos. This is the gray back. Hopefully it will show up see it's a gray back let's see if I can't get the number on here just take my word for it it's a five which man these 80 gray uh, these 80 five by sevens are so hard to find center you can see there on this side here it is barely on the card uh, I had this one I actually bought the set a while back I got some other cool cards players in there i like to get uh in this plastic just to take care of them i have them right now in top loaders and actually on display in my room uh but i would like to get them psa graded and and if anybody knows of a perfect fit or something to put these five by seven photos in please let me know psa um uh right now uh, I can't find them because I also collect comic books. Uh, I got the comic store at the card shop said a comic book maybe thing would fit. And I said, yeah, I got plenty of those. And I came home and I can't find mine. And I just put a bunch of comic books in, <laughs> in protective sl sleeves. So I don't know what I did with them. And then next is going to be uh, the grades from the LCS. I got 12 cards here. This is when you I could get them for low, low I, I did twelve for a hundred dollars so whatever that comes out to so it was a pretty good deal um, and I thought these were really iconic cards this first one I'm going to kind of go out of order I usually do in order of uh, the grades lowest to highest not really doing that this time kind of starting off with could have been a banger. But look at that grade right there, boys and girls, a six. Now, I knew, I don't know if it's going to come up, but this corner right there had an issue when I handed it in. I knew it was not going to be a 10, was thinking best a nine, maybe eight. But more, this to me is an iconic card. It was, I pulled it, so it means that much more to me. I don't really collect Akuna, but this is one that'll stay on my PC regardless 
didn't matter what the grade was it's something that's going to stay with me now next is going to be for the set registry the 84 tops all-star uh badly again this card is so hard to find but again this is one that i pack pulled almost guaranteed i got it from a 7-eleven me and my friends riding on our bikes 7-eleven always looking to see on those rack packs who was on the front and this is just something like hey i had in my collection might as well get the best one i had graded uh this one didn't have surface or corner issues but man it's so badly off center uh i don't know if it's a five but man they're, they're great and harsh it is what it is again for the set registry so it's my pc uh this next one man chrome's I, again, I just uh, going through my book, just like the story by Mike, Mike Trout. Found this card, got a seven. Bowman Chrome, first card of Altuve. And of course, when I sent this in, it was before the scandal. And when I got it back, I knew, I didn't know what to call it, but I knew the centering, but it looks a diamond cut to me on the front and back. And I know now always learning you can really see it there on the back uh man that it really kills the grade but you know again i think this is could be an iconic card <laughs> after i think this year he's pressing too hard but we'll see we'll see what he does and a seven at, for that not great it's 2010 it's not the best thing in the world uh this one uh, had me scratching my head a little bit. Got an eight. Um, it has to have some surface wear somewhere. Um, again, I'm still learning like before I send these in. But again, these are for my set registry. I'm not looking to f get tens and sell. These are staying in my collection. And again, these are all pack pulled. So, man, it, pack pulled is to me means so much. Uh, you flippers out there that buy singles and you know it's nothing wrong with that it's just pack the pack the thrill of pack pulling and pulling cards you know that's a 2013 it's not a playing day but it's in its expos uniform uh man beautiful card you know it's in that rainbow foil i, I really like it now i must admit i did buy this one as a single i did not pack pull this i don't buy much bunt uh again a six uh it's got some i knew this had some whiting on the corner when i sent it in now these last two i i don't think these are going to be from a set registry now that i think about it they're just carter cards that i had graded uh now i'm really working on the set right now, now these were sent in i want to say i gave them to the car shop in january and got shipped in february so man this was i was still a infant baby in the grading world six on that and it's out of a 25 so that was the reason why i sent it and that's the reason why i bought it and again it's in the plastic to protect it and uh i don't know if that corner is enough to give it a six but i've been seeing some harsh grades i wonder if psa has just stepped up their grading uh eight i've seen a lot of eights in this bryce harper front leg up uh 661 card this rookie 2012 and this was one of the cards that i was thinking about i am not a harper fan anymore i he's a traitor to me <laughs> it's not his fault he went where the money was you can't fault the man for that but uh yeah so this is one that might go on a song block one day but for an eight it might be, be a keeper because it's i will i probably be get better by cracking it and i'm not going to do that uh this one could be a different story uh 661 him screaming and a nine and i bought both of these i believe i got quite a few of them i pack pulled some but i think these two i got from my lcs at the same time i was buying a lot of harpers a few years ago um 
he I was PC in him pretty hard at the time and then when he went to the Phillies I can't root for a Philly so that was that cannot do it uh, another Altuve this is the rookie card nine um, again I didn't think I was gonna get a 10 on this uh, I, I think when I when it's I have the the it looked a little dull to me like it just didn't pop and I don't know if that's what it got dinged for. I really didn't look over it. Usually in this lighting, when I do this, I can see a lot better what, what the problem is. But I got a 9. But nice Altuve. I'll take her. And I'm not a big Altuve fan, but I like rookie cards. I collect rookie cards. So that one is going to be one to hang on to. Uh, and this one is definitely for the PC. And uh, I've waited so long to get this card back. I bought it in a 10, <laughs> waiting on it to come back. When I was looking at my spreadsheet, I was like, wait a minute, I have this in a 10? Went through my cards. Sure enough, I have it in a 10. Uh, so <laughs> now I have it in a 9. But it's a PC card all the way. Gary Carter traded. Uh, now, I didn't have, this is one card I didn't open up, pack. I, I, we did not, where I lived at, we didn't have a very good card shop. Uh, at this time, the card shop was also a coin shop and jewelry shop. It was a little bit of everything. He dealt mainly in coins and jewelry. Most, uh, the 80s card shops, gals, a little bit of a slimy dude. But, uh, yeah, I didn't even know what Topps Trade it was until few years ago I saw someone was like update and trade it when I started uh, getting into the Beckett's and right in my early 20s started seeing those up trade it's and all that and that's when I started realizing what they were uh, this one here uh, this is out of 2017 tops update 1986 Met storied World Series uh, I'm pretty sure I pack pulled this one. I don't know why I would buy that unless it came in a. I don't remember buying it, so I'm pretty sure it was pack pulled. But again, I don't think this one's in the uh, registry. It's only playing day cards in the registry. But man, it's a beautiful card. I don't even know why I sent that one in to be graded, but maybe because it was beautiful. That's the problem with you get one or two when if you didn't write down notes like I don't. I probably just pulled this out and said, wow, this looks good. I'm sending it in. And the 86 World Series, I remember it like it was yesterday. Um, very, very vivid. I like to collect stuff from that World Series, 86. It just not going to cooperate with me right now, but it's a ten. Uh, these last two are now I've showed these off before. I showed them before they were graded. Told you a little story about them. Uh, these two cards are uh, pack pulled as well, but by my father um, when he was a kid. So. These two, I didn't know if they would even get graded. I was just hoping they'd get authenticated. You know, you know these cards at this time are so worried about coloring, trimmed. And my dad as a kid did all of that stuff to make his cards look good. So I was worried about any of that. But this card came back at a 2.5 good. Jackie Robinson. And as a, this will be a casket card. I mean. This one will go on my desk for me to look at. It's I just got off with my dad talking baseball before I did this. Also politics. Uh, but yeah, it's the one card. 2.5, 1953, Jackie Robinson. Love that card. Look, how, I mean, centered pretty well. Uh, I, I think it's supposed to go away to the bottom. Um, cause over on a black cause over here it's up. So 
for you centering guys very well. Uh, the corner down here, you know, the corner guys, before I sent this in, you could see a little bit where it was soft and like you could almost see the layers of cardboard. But man, in this thing, it looks really, really good at 2.5. Beautiful card. Beautiful card. That's art. That's art, baby. And then here's a 1955 top Sandy Koufax. You can actually see the corner there. They didn't flatten it out before they put it in there. But you know what? It's loved. And it's a one poor. But that's okay. I'd rather have that than none. You see the crease right there up in the corner. It's a love card. My dad loved Brooklyn Dodgers. He's still got the Duke Snyder. I'd love to get that one from him and grade it. Uh, yeah, so his Brooklyn cards were kind of kind of loved. Kind of well loved. Kind of, kind of, kind of. And I just, I mean, these cards are just so nice. So you have it. 1955 Sandy Koufax. Jackie. Like I said, Pat pulled, but by my father, not by me. Uh, and he's the one, when I was a kid, you know, 74 is one of my first cards. I was born in 71, so you're like, ain't no way you started in 74. You're right. But my dad just picked him up. And even as a little, little thing, he would talk baseball with me and football. Sit me in front of the TV to watch games and talk about the players. So... I have uh, lived baseball, loved it my whole life. I could hit before I could walk. So, uh, with that, please let me know what you thought about these. Uh, like I said, man, too, I, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm wondering if you send in just a very small uh, grouping at a regular price, you might get them back faster. Or there's a specialist and oversized, and he got them, and he don't have a lot of backlog. I don't know. But it took right at two months to get those back. Uh, incredible. Um, I am still waiting on SGC for April 30th. Uh, that got processed. Uh, and I'm still waiting on that one. And I sent. And I'm not hating on them. I understand. Because I just sent them another one here. I just went through the processing last week. So. And then I got several in group. Uh, group orders and I have several PSA and group orders it's just that's where we're at now with this and uh, hey it is what it is and if you don't like it then stick with raw no problem with that either till next time uh, I ain't even gonna say it I'm not gonna even tell you to get the packs I get ripping because that's a story for another day and uh, leave a like share comment oh thank you guys i'm over to 200 uh man i got a big bump yesterday um and i believe some of that is deserving to mike o according to a couple of people left a comment um so i like to thank him for that so until next time see ya